The Kyrgyz Republic is located in the heart of Central Asia with about 6 million population. Almost 70 years the Republic was a part of the former Soviet Union, but after its collapse in 1991, it became independent and chose on the path of democratic development and market relations. Poverty and unemployment emerged in the country. The greatest impact has been on the social sector, particularly healthcare system. Every year health budget was reduced, health indicators and availability and quality of healthcare services decreased. For 20 years, United States Agency for International Development USA collaborates with the government of the Kyrgyz Republic and other donor organizations to strengthen health system, improve quality of health care and health of the population. One of the USAID project Quality Health Care project completing its work in Kyrgyzstan after five years was aimed at improving the health of population and strengthening capacity of health system, especially in the field of TB and HIV, maternal and child health family planning, non-communicable diseases, as well as to enhance the role of the civil society in order to best respond to the health needs. In terms of health protection issues in the Kyrgyz Republic, infectious, socially significant and economically dependent diseases, tuberculosis remains one of the formidable obstacles. Every year about 6,000 new cases of the disease is registered in the country. An increase in number of drug-resistant tuberculosis cases remains to be the trend. In the framework of the National Programme Tuberculosis 4 for 2013-2016, the project help the country to overcome tuberculosis and achieve better outcomes. Its activities were aimed at optimizing the TV laboratory network services with new diagnostic technologies, to reduce number of beds in TB hospitals, to create an electronic database on laboratory and drug management components, monitoring and evaluation of TB programs, introduction of new reporting and registration forms for TB according to the new WHO recommendations to develop clinical protocols and guidelines on TB and HIV, on activities of advocacy, communication, social mobilization and others. With the support of USAID Quality Healthcare Project, five TB clinical protocols, two clinical guidelines on TB and HIV and palliative care for TB patients were developed and approved. Association of family group practitioners and nurses played a key role in improving the quality of TB services at the primary care levels through the implementation of continuous quality improvement within the project. The experts of AFGPN together with the Rayon TB specialist of managers of family medicine centers regularly visited all primary care facilities in the rayons to collect data on 12 quality indicators and provided feedback and necessary on-job training. This approach allowed to introduce infection control in almost half of all primary care organizations in Kyrgyzstan, and this was done for the first time in post-Soviet Union countries. By virtue of the work done by AFGPN, the workers of primary healthcare refer more patients to diagnose TB, improved skills in the collection of sputum for microscopy, and follow more precisely the national diagnostic algorithm. Since 10-20% of all patients with tuberculosis are diagnosed in general hospitals, the hospital association began utilizing a similar approach to quality improvement with monitoring visits and on-job training. All hospitals in the Isiko, Chui, Jalalabad Oblast were involved in quality improvement process and now they are taking the measures to isolate potentially infectious patients with cough and reduce the time required for diagnostic of tuberculosis. Since 2014, Kyrgyzstan has moved to the stage of scaling up of outpatient models for TB patient treatment, which was originally introduced in the framework of the project in the Chu Oblast and with the support of partners in Bishkek and Karasu Rayon of Osh Oblast. Currently, more than 15% of all TB cases in the country are being treated entirely at the outpatient level. Outpatient treatment of TB is three times cheaper than at the inpatient level, does not disturb the lifestyle of patients, reducing a fear of risk 
of nosocomial infection improves adherence to treatments through the established support group of patients with tuberculosis in the country. The first support groups of TB patients with support of the Quality Project in Kyrgyzstan were created in 2012 in Isikata Rayon, Chui Oblast. For two and a half years, 19 such groups were established, which were participated by more than a thousand people among them, more than half that successfully completed the treatment. Based on all experience and stories ranging from diagnostic and finishing the treatment, conversation with patients become more than convincing and helpful. This gives patients the confidence that tuberculosis can be defeated and people can return to their normal life. With the support of the project in Kyrgyzstan, the activities of village health committees have continued that covered almost all inhabitants of the villages in the region. With awareness of campaigns of TB, the work has begun on introduction of social assistance in the treatment of TB patients on the outpatient basis. Having social assistance for patients with tuberculosis according to TB doctors is needed to help patients to follow the therapeutic regimen in taking TB therapy to overcome the possible stigma and discrimination. This activity was carried out in the framework of the implementation of the national strategy on advocacy, communication and social mobilization. Laboratory activities of the project were launched in September 2012 on the basis of the Isikata Family Medicine Center. For the first time in Kyrgyzstan, new technology in detecting a TB were utilized. The modern apparatus gene expert was installed in the pilot rayon that allows to carry out an accurate diagnostic of all forms of the disease. The program of external quality assurance EQA, is an internationally recognized tool that allows laboratories to regularly evaluate their performance and to improve the accuracy of their results. Before 2013, improved methods of EQA were not widely used in the Kyrgyz Republic. It has increased from 35 down to 93%. The project has trained 120 employees from the existing 100 and 29 laboratories throughout the country and organized field visits to institutionalize the scale-up of EQA. Currently, the laboratory specialists can assess the quality of microscopy, systematically perform all the procedures and provide accurate results to physicians. This activity was carried out in the framework of the main operations of the Ministry of Health of the Kyrgyz Republic to reform laboratory services and strengthen infection control in healthcare setting. The project was approved by the Ministry of Health of the Kyrgyz Republic in 2013 and integrated in the country plan for 2013-2016 to prevent the spread of multi-drug resistant tuberculosis and is carried out together under the guidance of experts from the National reference laboratories. USAID Quality Healthcare Project developed and trained the staff on health organization on standard operating procedures on TB drug management in order to ensure a standardized approach to the selection, purchase, quantitative evaluation, storage, distribution and rational use of TB drugs. The project also supported the national TB program in the registration of a new generation TB drugs and ensuring delivery of high quality TB drugs for children. In 2000, Kyrgyzstan has made a commitment to work towards the improvement of maternal and child health as a part of its commitment to the Millennium Development Goal. By 2015, the government has pledged to reduce the mortality rate of children under five by two-thirds and reduce the maternal mortality rate by three-quarters. There have been coordinated efforts of the Ministry of Health and its many partners in development. USAID Quality Healthcare Project supported the program on maternal and child health protection in Bishkek, Narin and Jalalabad oblasts. As a result, in the last few years, the country continues to decrease perinatal mortality, achieved 100% coverage of maternity hospitals, 
and maternity departments with WHO effective perinatal service program. By improving the skills of labor management and the use of active third stage of labor management, the frequency rate of unnecessary blood transfusion and medication decreased by 37% in Jalalabad Oblast, improved quality of counseling of women in the antenatal and postnatal period. With the support of the project, training of health workers of inpatient level on integrated management of childhood illnesses was organized. A six pilot hospitals have improved the indicators of quality management of children with acute intestinal infections and acute respiratory infections, anemia and other emergency conditions. In Narin Oblast, the mortality from pneumonia and diarrhea decreased by 10% and 25% respectively. Training course based on the competence of emergency obstetric care for women with complications such as obstetric hemorrhage and severe preeclampsia was developed and 18 national and regional trainers cascaded training for obstetrician gynecologists and midwives in Jalalabad Oblast. The project specialist took an active part in updating the clinical protocols for antenatal care, which was distributed among primary care workers, conducted an external expertise of number of clinical protocols in obstetric and gynecology, as well as evaluating the integration of new clinical standards of EPS, emergency obstetric care and family planning in the curricula of Kyrgyz Medical Academy and Medical Colleges, supported the work group in updating the curriculum which have been introduced in the curricula of all 14 medical colleges of the country by the decision of Methodological Council of Bishkek Medical College. In order to implement these programs, 58 teachers of medical colleges were trained. During five years, the main efforts of the USAID Quality Healthcare Project within HIV component were aimed at improving the quality of medical services for target populations with high risk to HIV infection and strengthening the interaction between non-governmental sector and governmental health organizations. In order to implement the state program for stabilization of HIV and provide access to quality services, the project has made a significant contribution to the development of enabling environment at the national level, working closely with the Ministry of Health aid centers and the Republican Oncology Center as well as Demata Venerology Center. The project provided technical assistance in the development of the national plan on antiretroviral treatment and adherence of people living with HIV to antiretroviral therapy and the assessment of harm reduction programs. All recommendations were integrated into the national health program Dental Look. With assistance of the project in 2012, rapid testing for HIV was introduced with the help of NGO. In order to provide integrated care for vulnerable to HIV groups, the project provided technical assistance in adopting international best practices and initiated development of comprehensive packages of services for people who inject drugs, sex workers and MSM. These documents were approved by the Ministry of Health in 2014. To ensure access to services for the target groups at the local level, the project has worked on four sites. Family Medicine Centres 6 and 16 in Bishkek, Karasu Family Medicine Centre in Osh Oblast, Isiko Oblast, FMC Family Group Practice No. 1 in Jalalabad City. Working groups to improve quality of medical services operate on a regular basis in these localities. Paying attention to TB problems among target groups and supporting the initiative of Walsh colleagues, the project facilitated development and implementation of referral algorithm for patients vulnerable to HIV, to tuberculosis diagnostic and treatment for physicians and patients in all regions of the country. In order to engage patients into the process of HIV and drug addiction treatment, community advisory boards of people living with HIV and opioids substitution therapy was established with the project support by Bishkek City Aid Center and public fund Krik Juravla as well as under public fund alternative to narcology. The board's representative regularly discuss specific problems of health services, develop recommendations and address issues together with the guidance of healthcare organizations.
Over the years, the project finalized the installation of enrolled population database software in primary care organizations together with the Republican Health Information Center and the Mandatory Health Insurance Fund. Now the updated population information for the whole country is being uploaded in the database. Supporting the initiative of the national centers and Republican organizations, the project contributed to the development of clinical guidelines and protocols on opioids substitution treatment, STI and hepatitis. These documents have been approved, published and distributed among healthcare organizations. In order to improve capacity of healthcare workers, training and seminars on implementation of the above-mentioned clinical guidelines and protocols were conducted at the national level. In close cooperation with the Kyrgyz State Medical Institute for Retraining and Continuous Education, during the project year's training on basics of HIV, HIV counseling and testing, implementation of harm reduction programs, STI, hepatitis B and C, as well as the management of prevention programs among people who inject drugs, sex workers and MSM, were conducted. Similar seminars were held for representatives of non-governmental organizations, thus 983 healthcare workers and 309 representatives of NGO improved their knowledge on HIV prevention and drug use. The contribution of the project in organizational development of six NGOs such as Anti-AIDS Association, KTS, Harmony Plus, Alternative to Narcology, Creek Joravla, Plus Center should be noted and they have developed strategic development plans and regular monitoring of three-year action plans. They have developed strategic development plans and and regular monitoring of three-year action plans allow them to improve quality of services provided to clients and contribute to the sustainable development of the organizations. In December 2014 in Bishkek, the representatives of the Ministry of Health of the Kyrgyz Republic discussed the results of an initiative related to promotion of rational use of antibiotics under coordination of USAID quality healthcare project. There were significant improvements in prescribing practices of antibacterial drugs for common diseases. In 2012, the project conducted a research in three pilot regions aimed at the study of the factors that lead to excessive use and unnecessary prescription of antibacterial drugs in order to facilitate more adequate use of antibiotics which showed 89% of patients diagnosed with acute bronchitis and 31% of patients with common cold good unreasonably prescribed antibiotic therapy. Following the training by the Kyrgyz State Medical Institute of Retraining and Continuous Education for Health Professionals using the curriculum developed with support of the project, the unreasonable prescription of antibacterial drugs decreased sharply both at the primary care level and at the hospital level as well. The quality project has also supported the development of 10 evidence-based clinical protocols on common respiratory and urological diseases. These protocols will help health workers in Kyrgyzstan in correct diagnostic and effective treatment, avoiding unjustified use of antibiotics. During the years of the project operation, more than 500 training were conducted, where about 11,000 health professionals, NGO workers and media representatives improved their skills and gained knowledge. The patients are recovering, children are growing up. Flight of time does not stop. Mature team of USAID Quality Healthcare Project says goodbye to numerous national partners who have walked hand in hand for many kilometers of the remarkable pathway, leaving a bright trail of glorious and good deeds, which have a mark of the quality standard. With a solid foundation of knowledge and skills on how to achieve and maintain this standard, they will continue to move forward. This process of change for better healthcare system cannot be stopped. Let there be a light and joyful way.
Peace and prosperity to you, Kyrgyzstan. Health to you, people.